with BOE examination question answer part 1 for candidates those are preparing for BOE examination energy manager and energy auditor examination so let's move on question number 1 what is BMCR in boiler it is boiler maximum continuous rating simply we can say it is the maximum capacity of steam which can be generated by boiler in one hour now move on question number two what is circulation ratio for boiler it is the ratio of feed water circulated in boiler evaporator to the generated steam by boiler so it is the ratio of circulated feed water and generated steam so simply we can say it is the circulated feed water for one ton of steam generation for subcritical 600 megawatt unit it is 4 to 6 at full load circulation ratio is 4 and partial load it is increases up to 6 for small units it is 6 to 15 means 15 ton of feed water circulated in circuit to generate 1 ton of steam it is for a very small units and for supercritical unit 660 megawatt circulation ratio is 1 means 1 ton of feed water is necessary to generate 1 ton of steam now let's move on the question number 3 what is evaporation ratio in boiler it is the ratio of steam generated to the fuel consumed suppose 1500 ton per hour steam generated by 300 ton per hour fuel so boiler evaporation ratio is 5 ratio 1 means 1 ton of fuel is necessary to generate 5 ton of steam higher the evaporation ratio is good for the boiler let's move on the question number 4 what are the types of drum level control there are three types of drum level control these are single element two element and three element in single element there is there is only one input to the controller which is drum level and in two element there are two inputs provided to the controller drum level controller first one is the drum level and second one is the main steam flow in case of three element three inputs provided to the drum level controller on the basis of that drum level controller decide or regulate the position of the control valve these three elements are drum level second one is the main steam flow and third one is the feed water flow now move on the question number five what do you understand from single element and three element drum level control so answer is single element drum level control based on single element which is drum level according to that input controller decide to regulate feed water control valve to maintain drum level according to given set point so simply in single element only L input to the drum level controller is drum level on the basis of that this value is compared or subtract from set point and drum level controller decide to regulate control valve in three element drum level control three elements are boiler drum level main steam flow feed water flow these three inputs are gathered in drum level controller on the basis of that drum level controller regulates the feed water control valve and maintain drum level according to set point of drum level it is more accurate method to maintain the drum level actually in case of a single element and two element there are only one element drum level and in case of two element there are two input drum level and main steam flow but in case of three element there are three inputs so on the basis of that more accurately drum level can be 
maintained and this is the process of maintaining drum level more accurately as compared to single element and two element now move on the question number 6 what is furnace draft for a boiler it is the pressure difference between atmospheric pressure and pressure exist in the boiler furnace what is the importance of furnace draft for a boiler boiler is equipped with the fuel and air system large amount of fuel combustion takes place inside furnace so it is necessary to exit the flue gas therefore furnace draft is maintained within a specific range for achieving efficient and complete complete combustion in furnace and furnace draft is also necessary to remove out all combustion flue gas from furnace flue gas duct up to the chimney let's move on the question number 6 what are the causes of boiler drum level high boiler drum level could be high due to following reasons due to malfunction of drum level control valve due to sudden cut off of fuel to boiler it is the effect of drum level swelling because uh, drum pressure reduces that's why drum level goes up due to sudden increase of boiler load it is also the same cause if uh, boiler load increases so pressure reduces and drum level goes up move on question number 7 what are the causes of boiler drum level low answer boiler drum level could be low due to following reasons due to malfunction of drum level control valve due to failure or trip of running boiler feed pump it is called bfp due to sudden increase of fuel to boiler if fuel increases to boiler so it may be the case of sudden increase of pressure so drum level shrunk in this case due to sudden increase of boiler load due to leakage in boiler pressure parts now next question is what are boiler mountings it is very important question in view of doe interview and also for written examination what are boiler mountings so answer is these are mechanical devices mounted on boiler surface those are necessary to work boiler smoothly and safely so it is very important point mountings are necessary for working boiler smoothly and safely examples are boiler drum level gauge drum safety valve pressure gauge steam stop valve blow off valve feed check valve super heater vents now move on the question number 11 what are boiler accessories these are mechanical devices attached on boiler surfaces those are necessary to improve boiler efficiency examples economizer super heater and feed pump now question number 12 what is boiler turn down ratio boiler turn down ratio is the ratio of boiler maximum load to the boiler minimum load higher the turn down ratio means boiler is more stable at minimum load normally boiler turn down ratio 5 ratio 1 to 5 ratio 10 ratio 1 now move on the next question question number 13 why boiler drum safety valve lift means set pressure more than main steam line safety valve set pressure in case of excessive pressure rise in boiler if boiler drum safety valve lift before lifting up main steam line safety valve it could be the cause of less steam flow in super heater coil consequently super heater coils starved and failure of coil take place to overcome this issue boiler drum safety valve always set at higher pressure than line pressure suppose boiler drum pressure set at pressure 180 kg per cm2 and line safety valve is set at 185 kg per cm2 in this case drum level safety valve lift before line safety valve so what will happen steam flow 
will not flow into the superheater and it will be the case of starvation that's why drum safety valve always set at higher pressure than main steam line pressure now question number 16 what are heat losses occurred in boiler heat losses in boiler are as heat loss due to dry flue gas heat loss due to moisture in fuel heat loss due to hydrogen in fuel heat loss due to moisture in air and heat loss due to unburnt carbon in flies and bottom is heat loss due to radiation now question number 17 what is major heat loss in boiler the major heat loss in boiler is heat loss due to dry flue gas and this loss varies from 7% to 8% next question is what are the boiler side emergencies in power plant this is very important question these are the emergencies are under noted tripping of coal mill or coal feeder tripping of id fan tripping of fd fan tripping of pfn boiler drum level high boiler drum level low furnace draft high furnace draft low main steam temperature high main steam temperature low sudden increase in main steam pressure pfn stalling these all are emergencies those are from boiler side now question number 19 what are the turbine side emergencies in power plant these are under noted tripping up boiler feed pump tripping up cp that is condensed extraction pump tripping up cw pump tripping up seal oil pump deaerator level high deaerator level low deaerator uh, hot well level high hot well level low hydrogen pot low in generator casing turbine sealing system temperature low turbine vibration high these all are the emergencies in turbine sites question number 20 what actions to be taken during trip of trip of any id fan this is very important question interviewer can ask in interview otherwise it may come in written examination also so first of all ensure tripping of corresponding fd fan otherwise tip it manually after that check the followings so the thing is very important if uh, corresponding fd fan not gets trip so it will be the cause of furnace explosion so it must be trip or stop manually and further check the following points if unit running in cmc then check id fan run back acted or not instant tripping of top coal mill then next mill after 5 second till four mills are left in service except bottom four mills check the vent box pressure and secondary air flow it must be adequate check feed water flow it should be reduced according to steam flow and boiler drum level is in normal range otherwise reduced feed water flow manually check main steam temperature if it is in drop trend then check a temperature valve position if these are closed then increase fuel in top mills to maintain main steam temperature